my goodness, Ian, do you see what I see? Oh my god. Fish and chips. that we did so this apparently this bit here is a takeaway and this bit here is the bit where you go if you want to eat in um, but we asked the lady who was at the takeaway really nicely we said you know do you is there somewhere that we can sit and eat because when we've seen on videos before they've had tables outside where you can eat so um, we specifically asked before ordering we said you know is there somewhere you can eat she said yes the dining area now we've come to this dining area and now they're telling us we can't sit and eat the food in there because apparently over here is just a takeaway really frustrating um, so just so anyone doesn't get the same issue or problem as us then um, just to make you aware don't order from here if you want to actually sit in the restaurant you have to actually go in there but it's it's just not very clear and also unfortunately the lady behind the counter uh, told us we could eat in the dining hall hence why we've ordered from there very frustrating After everything that happened outside, um, the manager in here uh, stepped in and was really kind and gave us a table inside and allowed us to eat the food that we'd ordered um, in the restaurant, put it all on a, a nice plate so we've actually got a nice sit down meal which is what we wanted to do in the first place. So it was really nice that you sorted it out and um, as a really kind gesture they um, brought us each a lemonade which is now dripping everywhere. <laughs> So it was really nice of them to do. They didn't have to do that. Um, they could have just turned us away and said, you know, go and eat your takeaway elsewhere. Um, but they did accommodate us, let us sit inside and also gave us a nice free complimentary drink. So for due to all the problems. So that was nice. So my verdict, um, definitely disappointing, but then it's kind of like, what do you expect from having a British dish in Asia? You know, it's if you want to really try and in, uh, have a dish that tastes like the country then you need to go in the country so um, yeah I mean for us it was really nice to see Harry Ramsden's and, and maybe have a bit of a taste of home especially with the whole lockdown and Covid situation it's been really hard knowing that I don't know when I'll next see my family um, so it's, it's been nice to try something that's like home but for anyone wondering what uh, British fish and chips taste like you need to get yourself to the UK and don't bother trying it in some pub or some posh restaurant. You need to get yourself to a proper chippy where they wrap it in paper, cover it in salt and vinegar, and then you'll see why we were so excited when we saw Harry Ramsden's here. <laughs> <laughs>